Hi, my name is Vivek and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the 10th episode to create a responsive website using Futify. In the previous episode, we work on various components like images and cards to create about pages. Today, we'll be working on images and forms component to create contact page. We'll also add Google Map using iframe. For hero block, we'll copy exactly the same code as in about.view and change the image source and title text. Now you can check your site. Here you go. Then for form, go to Futify website, click on get started, UI components, form input and controls, and forms. Now if you scroll down, uh, you will see this form and I'm going to use this form so click on view source. Then copy everything that starts and end with fee form and paste it inside contact.view after adding div with class called block and fee container. Now if you check the site, you can see the form but uh, this validated button is disabled. So go to the script tab and copy everything that starts with data. And paste it over here. Now if you check the site again, you can see this uh, validate button is enabled now and if you click on it, you will see some error message. Likewise, other buttons are working as well. Now let's remove this uh, reset validation button because we don't need it. and also remove this from the methods then change this validated button to submit and reset form to just reset here you go now let's remove this checkbox so open your contact.view and remove this fee checkbox and inside this data remove this checkbox now you can check the site again and the checkbox is gone now finally instead of this item select box we can add a text area for message just like this one so click on the Futify website again and click on text areas. Under this uses, you can see four different types of text areas. So we're going to use the first one. So click on view source and copy only this free text area. and then you can replace it under this fee select also don't forget to remove this select and items under this data you can check the site again 
and you should see some text er area over here now we want the same style and attribute from either this name or email so uh, let's copy all the attribute from the email and paste it over here and then you can just change the uh, name of this fee model from email to message and rules from email rules to message rules and then do we need the label let's check in the side and the label is message so just change this label to message now you can see the form is exactly the same now let's work on the validation so open your contact that view again and if you scroll down to this data part you can copy name and name rule and just paste it over here and instead of name it will be message and instead of name rules it will be message rule because we have used message rule over here then you can just change the content message is required and uh, message must be less than 10 character so let's hit the submit button and you can see everything is validated if you click on reset then it will reset so if you type more character then you will see another validation message saying message must be less than 10 characters so what we will do over here is instead of less than we can use greater than and we can change the content from message must be more than 10 characters so let's test it again hit the submit button i will type my name my email and then message this is so you can see the error message says message must be more than 10 characters so if you just keep on typing the message will then disappear so i think the form is working perfectly with the validation as well now let's add google map in our site so in a new tab go to google.com slash maps then you can search the location over here i will use london for the time being then you can click on this share link click on embed the map then you can copy this iframe link now open your contact dot view and then you can add new div with a class called google map and paste it over here now you can remove all of these attributes and in width instead of 600 you can add 100 percent also feel free to change the height according to the design if you want but for for the time being I will just use 450 now let's check the site and you should see a Google map over here and also if I compare it with my original design it seems exactly the same great this is the end of this session in the next session i will show you how to work on not found page feel free to comment below if you have any questions also please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to get more tutorials in the future thank you